All right then, so. I figure it's time to do another one of these, like, you know, requested games, so. Here's Mr. Dungeon Hand. The idea of this game is that it boils down the concept of a mystery dungeon roll like game, like cheering into a single deck of cards you experience. Cards are dealt from a randomized deck and into a track in front of you. You have HP and fullness. If either reaches zero, you lose. You gain HP by discarding cards with your Junate. See below. You can gain full fullness by eating food. You get food by killing monsters and having them drop food. Rocks also may drop food. You have a few available actions. Move. Click the move button on the left if available to discard the leftmost card if it's not an obstacle. The whole track will move left, and then you are dealt a new card. Attack. Click any track card to attack it. After attacking the card on a track that can attack will also attack you. Use. Click an item in your inventory, right now only food, and it will just be um, text on display to use it. And then wait, don't do this, so you forgot to take out wait. What wait would have been used for? The game relies on a surprising complex rule engine, Ayla Magic Hearthstone, that manifests through key car, um, keywords that can attach to cards. The ones you will encounter are Obstacle, Rejuvenate, Lootable, Exit, and Eat. Obstacle basic blocks movement. If the card is on the leftmost track, Rejuvenate heals, your, uh, heals and discard. Lootable, um, discard this card to go into your inventory. Exit basically exits the floor, and Eat basically grants fullness on use. There is only one stairs per floor. Discarding stairs will advance you to the floor. See how far you can go. So this is basically made by uh, Kyle Kusit Till. He's basically made this game, Lucerus Bird's Wings, no audience. No idea if any of these have 70 URLs, but who knows. And yes, yeah, so it's a card game, so let's see how it goes. Here's our game. And there we go. There's AVG saying hello to it. And there we go, AVG says it's fine. Alright, so we have a seated rock, a seated enemy, a seated floor, a seated floor, a seated floor. So, we have to attack like rocks and stuff like that, I guess. Or enemies. So, but it dashes it, it dashes me. Anyway, we got rid of it. Alright, at fullest of 10, we have HP of 9. That's the stuff up here, I guess. Uh, we can wait, which doesn't do anything for us. Just track cards. See the rock, full, uh, food, see the floors, and all sort of stuff. So, you actually see up here what it basically all is. We have an inventory, discard, graveyard, seated enemy. So we took out the enemy, that's fine. Um, use that. Not sure it did anything for us, but okay. I can rejuvenate. So how am I supposed to get rid of these cards? Let's see here. So click the move button on the left if available to discard the leftmost card if it's an obstacle. Okay, I have to get rid of like the, the rock first, I guess. I ate that, I guess, so let's do this. Oh, move. There we go. I did it right that time. So I have to use, like, use, use these buttons over here as a thing, right? So, okay. Let's give that also right there. 
Get some food from that stuff I need to. Move. <laughs> Use that. Kill a rock. Move. The rock. Eat the food, cause why not? Fight the enemy. There might be a lack of enemies, perhaps. That could be a thing. Oh, these are enemies that are attacking me over here. I got you. So you can both attack you. They both attack you. That's what you have to watch out for. So, okay, I died. Let's reset. So you don't want multiple enemies because they can both fight you at once. So, attack. You're dead. All right, we gotta see rock. We'll kill this. Get our food. Attack that rock. Move. I think moving always takes fullness for me, so let's watch out for that. Kill that rock. Move again. There's an enemy, let's attack it. Attack that too. Am I using the food? I'm not really sure. So, click an item in the inventory, right now only food, and it will just be text on a display to use it. So I put stuff to my inventory. That's the question here, I guess. Move. Move again. Attack him. Like here's the thing is sort of like ask, ah, basically how am I supposed to get this to my inventory? Do I have to like discard it over here? Move. Move. Attack this guy. Oh, that's how I basically get it. I have to basically move it off and then I can I consume it. Okay. So. Um, where is the option to eat the food? Yeah, I sort of feel by way of like, you know, it's basically on the floor here, it's just like click it and it's like, you know, gets eaten or something like that, if you don't have like a use button. You can basically make it redundant by just attacking stuff like that, I guess. Whee! I can just do this and I'll get my fullness up to full. Not sure what these buttons down here do, if, if anything. You got like, you know, cheat things and stuff like that. Well, let's just run off. Do my phones go up at some point? I ate my food somehow. Okay. Move. Oh, this will kill me. Oh, 
Well, let's try this again. We'll try and figure it out. So, kill this rock. Oh, there's a seed coming right there. I missed. Let's just move this to pick up the food. Let's get the heal up. Oh, here's my inventory down here. Gotcha. So there's like my inventory being shown down here and he's like spots here. So I want to use it. That's how I basically use it. Okay. Yeah, obviously it's not like the most... It's a prototype, but you know. It's not the easiest thing to work with. That's all I can really say. I see a lot of floors. Oh, we're just going to use this to keep my fullness up. It's probably not intended, but you know, it does work, I guess. You don't need to heal, just like, you know, do this to it. Oh, this is going to hurt. Here goes the big enemy. Hey, we made it to the next stairs, I guess. Yay! Here's the food. Eat some food. Heal up a little bit. Weren't we supposed to drop food? I'm not really sure if we're dro dropping food here. Let's get some fullness here. Just gonna destroy that food there. Honestly, not sure there's any reason to destroy food, unless it's like you know, over here and you want to basically make something drop or something. There's a heal up. Heal again. Heal again. Heal again. I think there could be like some benefit to maybe having like you know upgrade cards that let you like take out the big enemies perhaps a little bit faster, but whatever. Let's get some food here. Kill this rock. Yum yum. I don't know if I get big enemy, I'm basically done, but whatever. Yep, and we're done. Because even though I can move this way, it's just going to attack me, right? No, it does not. So there's actually some benefit to, like, you know, trying to... prop to fight these guys, I guess. Damn. A little bit of lag there, I guess. Well... Yeah, a little bit of lag there, so not great. Okay, let's go one more time. All 
Alright, the game crashed. Well, let's give it our go. Attack, attack, you're done. Attack, attack, it's done. So I probably should let this guy basically get to me, but whatever. Let's just uh, move. Attack this guy a few times. Okay, we're done, because I can't kill this like big enemy event and I survived his strike, I guess, so. Done. Well, the basic premise of what's basically going on here is basically, like, you know, evident. I also feel this could have been, like, barely, like, you know, um, shown by the way, but whatever. It works for what, but, you know, it's basically here. There's the big enemy. There's this rock. Up a little bit here. Get this food. I'm my fullness right now, but we'll try and like go as far as we can here. Some food then. More food. I almost feel by the way that the food's kind of useless. You could have actually made it so like, you know, whenever you basically collect food, it bumps up your, your fullness and instead of like having it down here. Like inventory stuff down here would be better used for something you actually can save. So this feels a need like the, 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 you know, having to click this to get the fullness up. And we are dead. Even if I basically can fight this guy a little bit, he's not gonna go down easily. Maybe the food could heal you. That could be something that could make me, like, you know, a purpose for the food. And we're done, because, you know, he's gonna kill us. Alright, well, that's basically Mystery Dungeon Hand Prototype. Um, if more were basically added to this, it could be a little bit more fun, but, you know. Not really much more basically to say than like, you know, it's a prototype and that's basically all it is. So take care.